Good morning and welcome to uh, Jones Lake State Park. My name is Ranger German and today we're going to talk about one of our most requested programs here at the park and that is uh, snakes of southeastern North Carolina. Uh, but more specifically we're going to sort of focus on uh, the six venomous snakes that are found right here in southeastern North Carolina. In North Carolina we have about 37 different species of snakes or 37 different kinds of snakes out of those 37, only six are venomous. Uh, and those six venomous snakes, uh, three are rattlesnakes. Uh, by rattles, I mean they are born with uh, built-in warning devices uh, on their bodies. When you get close to the rattlesnake, you will hear these rattles start to rattle. And um, that is a warning to, to stand clear, to not get close. Um, the first rattlesnake that we have, and the most rare and the smallest uh, rattlesnake is the pygmy rattlesnake. This is the pygmy rattlesnake. I think the last time one uh, was uh, seen here at Jones Lakes uh, was in the 50s. So very rare. And um, I think they are on the uh, special concern list uh, with the state. Next is your largest uh, Rattlesnake we'll have here in southeastern North Carolina, that's the diamondback rattlesnake. These guys can get over six feet long. Really, really large uh, species of rattlesnake. Next is the, um, if you see one in this area, it's going to be this guy here. And this is the timber rattlesnake, uh, sometimes referred to as the cane break rattlesnake. Timber rattlesnake or the cane break rattlesnake. Next is our most colorful venomous snake here in uh, southeastern North Carolina. This is the eastern coral snake, the eastern coral snake. Uh, there's a saying that goes with this guy, black on yellow, uh, hurt a fellow or kill a fellow. Uh, that's because it has a, a, a non-venomous snake that looks similar to the coral snake, the scarlet king snake, um, and it has the red on black, a friend of Jack, red on yellow, kill a fellow. And this snake has uh, totally different venom from our other five venomous snakes. This has a venom similar to some of the venomous snakes you'll find in southeastern or uh, South America, actually, some of your cobras. It has a, uh, the, the neurovenom, whereas the other five have the hemovenom, which affects the, the blood itself. Next is... Uh, what most folks uh, here in southeastern North Carolina refer to as the uh, water moccasin, uh, but its common name is the cottonmouth. The cottonmouth. You can see here in the picture when you encounter these guys, they'll throw that mouth uh, open, and uh, the inside is is very white, white like cotton. Uh, therefore, um, getting the name cottonmouth. And uh, folks, I have not found this to be true, but a lot of folks say they're really aggressive. Um, I have found that they stand their ground uh, when you come up on them, so they're not uh, quick to scurry off, but um, I have never found one to be aggressive as far as trying to uh, attack anyone or attack me when I encounter the cotton mouth. Last but not least is the most commonly seen uh, venomous snake here in southeastern North Carolina, and this is the copperhead. We've had, in my 18 years of service here at the park, we've had one venomous snake bite, and it was from this snake here, the, uh, the cottonmouth. Luckily, the bite itself was uh, what they call a dry bite, so it bit uh, the park visitor on the foot, but did not inject any venom, which is really cool. The copperhead. And I also have a replica of this snake here. And uh, one of the things to focus on, uh, on your venomous snakes, um, is the size of its head or the shape of its head. It has this uh, diamond shape, uh, which um, is uh, one thing that tells us this snake is venomous. Uh, not all snakes that are venomous have white, big heads, like the coral snake. It has a real tiny head, so this um, is not 100% true, but most venomous snakes will have the larger head, more uh, triangular in shape. And then your copperhead is going to have this uh, hourglass-like design on its back. These here are the hourglass design. And um, these snakes, uh, for whatever reason, um, probably account for at least half of our venomous snake bites here in southeastern North Carolina. Our 
real neat handout here that we hand out and show the kids um, the difference between a venomous snake and a non-venomous. You can see your venomous snake has the fangs in which it uh, puts the venom in its, its uh, victim. And then your non-venomous snakes, they do not have uh, venom, obviously. So what they do is bite their prey, uh, wrap their body around it, and constrict it, and, and basically suffocate or, or choke it to death. That's how they kill their, their, their prey. All right, the snake we're going to take out is one of our non-venomous snakes that we um, have here on site at Jones Lake. Um, and sort of our guidelines are if we catch a snake in the park, we can... Uh, keep that snake for 14 days, uh, use it to do uh, educational programs, show school groups, then we have to release that snake uh, back where we, we caught the snake. Uh, fortunately, these snakes here were given to the park from folks outside of the park, so we keep them um, on hand all the time. So the first snake we're going to look at is the yellow rat snake. A lot of folks in this area refer to this snake as the uh, chicken snake, um, and it's because it's commonly seen around um, uh, chicken coops, because they really love uh, eggs, chicken eggs, and they'll also take advantage of eating the small chicks after they hatch. Uh, but this is the yellow uh, rat snake, and um, very commonly seen here in, in southeastern North Carolina. And these guys can get um, very large, over, over six feet long, uh, very good climbers, and uh, not super aggressive. They can be. Especially in the wild, this guy here has been um, held a lot here at the park. So he knows the deal. So this is your yellow rat snake. Some of the characteristics we were talking about earlier of the venomous snakes, you can see its head uh, is not very triangular in shape. It's more of a streamline. Um, not a real good way to tell venomous from non-venomous, but the shape of their pupils. Since we know this guy doesn't bite it, and I can get really close. The shape of its pupils are round, which tells us that is a non-venomous snake. Venomous snakes, their pupils will be uh, diamond shaped. Minus that very uh, rare coral snake, the coral snake has round pupils just like non-venomous. So two of the characteristics that we uh, identify venomous snakes with the shape of its head and the, the, the shape of its pupils, the coral snake goes against both of those. So that is not 100%. The coral has the round pupils and the very small head. The only state park that I'm aware of that uh, has recently encountered the coral snake would be Carolina Beach State Park. They see them from time to time. Uh, never have I seen one here. I have seen its um, real similar uh, looking friend, the scarlet king snake here at the park, but not the coral snake. You can see this guy sticking his tongue out. They refer to that as tasting the air. That scent particles stick to that tongue. It, tongue goes back in and he's got a little sensory organ in its mouth that helps him decipher all of that and lets him know what's going on. Snakes are cold blooded meaning they can't generate their own body heat, so they really like when they come in contact with things that are warm. So that's what this snake is doing. It's not squeezing my hand because it is non-venomous and, and a constrictor and how it kills its prey. It is not squeezing my arm or hand. It is just uh, touching as much of my hand and arm as it can uh, to absorb the heat from my body to help uh, then uh, increase his body temperature. the yellow rat snake. Put him back in his home. If he will release, sometimes it's hard to get him to release from a 98 degree arm. There he goes. We have here uh, I'll pass around or hand out that we, we show all the students and, and adults alike. Uh, this shows uh, on the bottom uh, the head of a non-venomous snake, and then on top is the head of a venomous snake. 
Uh, you can see the more streamlined head is your non-venomous, the more triangular shape will be your uh, venomous snakes. Non-venomous, venomous. You can see the fangs. The venom sacs are back here. Muscles uh, around the venom sac constrict, forcing the venom down the fangs uh, like hypodermic needles and force the venom into its prey. The non-venomous snakes just have real tiny teeth just for holding their prey while they use the rest of their body to coil around and constrict and kill the prey. What we have here is uh, one of the skins from uh, one of our snakes here is just more likely the uh, a yellow rat snake. Um, and the reason uh, they, they shed from the tips of their nose all the way to the tip of their tail, you can actually see uh, a little skin here over the eye. So that was the mouth and the head all the way to its tail. And the reason they shed is uh, to allow their body to grow. So in the summer months when we feed them a little more, they shed more. They grow more and they shed more. In the winter months we sort of scale back their food and uh, they grow less so they shed less. So the shedding is to allow the snakes to grow. You learn uh, a lot about snakes here today and uh, we know that they're our friends more than our enemy. They help us more than they do hurt us. But that being said, if you see a snake uh, in the wild, keep your distance. Uh, stay 20 feet, 10, 15, 20 feet from the, from the snake. Uh, Enjoy the wildlife, look at it from a distance, uh, but never try to get close and never try to pick up snakes. Uh, and if you're ever in uh, southeast North Carolina, please come out to Jones Lake State Park and uh, check out what we have to offer. Mm -hmm.